to London. <laughs> 16 days. We now cover Edoba Missy TV. Yes, latest update on Accra Journey to London updates and another final one. And I made more what is a but another one, but maybe more but with the final one trip. No, what is it finally? You want to make a copy of London and wanting so yes, when the damn memo video memo update. No, yes, was 16 days. That day, no make a pim, it was spin and wanting so. Ah, uncle for I dream my monarch, a crowd, made me chim say yes, a pan too, and we try more consume it. We could do and we spin and wanting so because once you to me person will try to use a pantoon and we try a good pim or more cool good pim will spin and wanting so. But see, I'm good pim will spin once a BBC crack gun some more interview near the idea of much as yes. One more idea and tell more person when the almost pay attention from the media. Because on many attention from the media become person we find on many ska normally find it like a local areas on many ska on many so those kind of some person we those kind of donation yeah that but then on yeah me adum finally good news are banned some copy it will land and more things some copy the energy the media the year for the aqua on work come on we get pan we say even now. On my journey on the arrival, on my journey on my con, on my copy my Switzerland, on my do you know? I got a phone to work. I'm on for fair far. I share video and everything. It's me chugun. On my work, I'm on for fair far. I'm on my way to my fufu party. I was Switzerland before. I'm on my second trust from Switzerland to England. I'm in here. I'm going to do India. I'm saying easy. If you go, by the way, work. I'm on my ah. Now you're fair. Incredible. What is it? I'm going to find how much because seventeen good times, seventeen good days. I'm going to share some more days trip. Was it in the Omoha or Chamoha? But after all, Omo arrived. I know I said, I'm coming from film in Kumufias. First of all, Mufias were Ghana. I'm Kufia say Independence Square. I'm going to lunch here. So, okay, sad as I did say, I perceived to 22nd July. I perceived this up. She shared trip with a basso from that 22nd. I'm going to pee more. I was a man's son from a man's son. I'm moving straight forward from Kumasi Lena to Elibo. So early born, and I'm to me borrow him our Africans board animal from Africans, and I'm a female copy more Senegal from Senegal, and I'm a woman to was a Mauritania to a a a near Kenya to a a Spain, France, Spain, and I'll say Switzerland, London. It's only a easy was a fever. But I'm sure some of the highlight video, which I would do a more speech, quite a little more than speech too, Jack. I will make you a Ghana media, so I will come and say Ghana community or London. I will come home. Yes, sir, we are. We are. On this trip to the UK, we have with us two real estate developers, we have a software consultant, we have um, a printing guru, if you need any different, this is the kit, he's from Ghana, this is the MD of Phoenix. Right from Accra, right into the heart of the United Kingdom. Once again, well done.
You saw some of them there, and by the time they reached London, they would have driven nearly 10,000 kilometres. They arrive in the UK on Sunday, and I'm very pleased to say we can talk to Kwabena uh, Pipra, one of the seven people on the journey, and a couple of other people as well behind you. Uh, good to talk to you, Kwabena. Thank you so much for joining us. And I understand that you are currently on a pit stop in Monaco. What's Monaco like? Uh, we actually are on the outskirts of Monaco. Right. We're yet to enter to have lunch. So I'll give you feedback when we're done. Tell me a little bit about why you decided to do this epic, epic journey from Ghana to the UK. The simplest answer was, why not? Um, we are adventure enthusiasts and tourism enthusiasts. We've been driving around our continent. We've been driving around our country for a bit. And we decided to take it to the next level. But most importantly, we knew we'd get some traction with you know, the media and would use it to raise funds to help underserved communities in our country through EduSports, which is a, a philanthropy organization which creates um, educational hotspots for schools in deprived areas. Now, Monica, obviously, uh, is uh, a lovely part of the world, and you've traveled through many, many different countries. Uh, some have been a little bit more dangerous than others. Talk us through your journey so far. What were the highlights? What were the crazy stories? We want to hear them all. <laughs> the craziest was when policemen extorted us and kept us for seven hours in Mauritania. Uh, wow, that's why? That's not a friendly country. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They started off by giving us one reason after the other why we needed to stay with them. They were going to impound our cars for two days just because they said uh, we had infracted on their traffic rules. It's, well, it's, it's one of those things. Kobena, what, what, was your, the line, what was your favorite country to travel through? There are two favorite countries. One was Senegal and the other was Morocco. They are beautiful, they are clean, and the infrastructure is awesome. And the people, very friendly. Look, let me tell you this. There was a policeman in Morocco who stopped. We stopped at the traffic light, light and he came over. And he was curious about the plates. So he asked us which country, and we said Ghana. Then he goes like, Abe Di Pele, a footballer? I said, yes. This guy just turned on his sirens and gave us an escort out of town. It was so wonderful. No way. Football clearly is a, a universal language, isn't it, Corvetta? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Tell me a little bit about... This hour, I am welcoming Very incredible. Yes. So this was a training. Any latest update via baby My name is Steve. Can you subscribe, like and share? When I drop a new video, be the part of the family. I say thank you.